Hello, BJ, Very Basic Bible, and my very yellow Bible screen there. I'm going to do a quick Bible topic, make my face smaller. Let's go find us a passage. Book of 1 Kings. Let's try the New Testament. Colossians 4. Let's see what we have. Let's go over here. Colossians this is random. This is random. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's go down. All right. Start right here. A message to the Laodiceans. Let's start there. We're reading the NABR. Give greetings to the brothers in Laodicea and to Nympha and to the church in her house. And when this letter is read before you, have it read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and you yourselves read the one from Laodicea, and tell Archippus, 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 Archi <laughs> see, sorry, whenever you're reading scripture, read it strong and proud, just, just read it, most people, they won't know how to pronounce these names, like Archippus, or Laodicea, you know, and if you say it some some different way most people would be like oh they know what they're talking about uh see that you fulfill the ministry that you have received in the lord the greeting is in my own hand paul's remember my chains grace be with you archippus yeah leo decia nympha well they got such strange names hey watch this well their names straight it's spelled so this like, it's like can you pronounce all that maybe acts chapter two let's go see this would be fun uh time of pentecost was fulfilled they were all together one place together suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were then there appeared to them tongues as a fire which parted and came to rest on each of them and they were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem at this sound. They gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Now you're already going, BJ, wait, wait. I don't really know the storyline. I agree, but watch this. I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you do. This might be super familiar. Some of you might be. I'm not sure. Well, either way. Okay. Verse 7 and 8, they were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans, Gal Galilean, Galileans? It's how most people say it. Galileans. Uh, then how does each of us hear them in his own native tongue? Watch this. We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts near of Libya and Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear him speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Let's see. Parthians, okay, Medes, Medes, Medes is how it's usually pronounced, but I mean, Medes, Meds, I mean, Medi Medieval, no. Uh, Elamites, usually I-T-E, is, you know, Israelite, Amalekite, Canaanite, Elamite, 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 you know, inhabitants of Mesopotamia. A lot of people have heard that word. Judea, a lot of people have heard that word. And Cappadocia, it's actually changed a C to an S-H, Shia, Shia. Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Ca you know, I mean, who knows how to pronounce it, Cappadocia, Pontus, you know, just, just use like normal English pronunciation, but if you go with like, hey, let's, let's make them all long vowels, Pond, Tus, and Asia, Asia, what, <laughs> but after reading, uh, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, oh, Asia, you know, Phrygia, Pamphylia, 
I mean, I mean, you know, difficult words to pronounce. I don't know why they did that. Let's say, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> they did that because that's where the people were from. We're used to some of these words. Egypt, uh, Libya, I think, Cyrene, or Simon of Cyrene who carried Jesus' cross. We're used to some of these. Judea, right? Right after saying, pronounce it with not long vowels like pontus or a si a judi uh <laughs> yeah long vowels short vowels would be jud e uh jud e a <laughs> but judi i mean some of them you just know let's go let's do this watch this genesis 15 let's go there Go down, down, down. Okay. On that day, the Lord made... I'm trying to scratch my toe over here. Oh, and I'm trying to reach over here to the mic. <laughs> All right, here we go. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great wadi. I think that's a river, a stream, uh, a, a creek. <laughs> From the Wadi of Egypt to the great rivers, the Euphrates. The land of the Kenites, Kenizzites, the Cadmonites, Cadmonites, Cadmonites. Uh, I said, yeah, Kenizzites, Kenizzites, no. <laughs> uh, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Amorites. Amor, Ammon, Amorites, okay, Am, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. I have heard some people pronounce that Jebus, um, but most people say instead of Jebusites, they say Jebusites. Why is the city called Jebus and the people who live in the city called Jebusites and not Jebusites? I don't know. Maybe they are called Jebusites and we just mispronounce it. Maybe the city of Jebus is really Jebus. Jebusites? Jebus? Yeah. <clears throat> Here's one. Genesis 13. Let's see. Am I right? Okay. From, the, from Egypt, Abram. Not Abraham yet. <laughs> Abraham, his name was changed in chapter 17, I think, from Abram to Abraham. I think 17. Okay, Abram went up from to the Negev, or look over here, Negev. Okay, right here. Uh, and Lot went with him into the Negev. Egypt to the Negev. So Gev, Geb. Negev, Negev. Negev, Negev. Negev. It's like, what? What are these two? Negev and Negev. Like, like, what are they? Yeah, I don't know. I think the B and the V are from different languages. That no, no, no. It's a different pronunciation of Hebrew, maybe. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. It would be different languages because it's all from the Hebrew. <laughs> all right. Next chapter. Oh, here we go. When. Amraphel, king of Shinar, Arioch, Ariok, king of Alasser. Here's the funnest. This is my mo Cheddar Laomer. Chedorlamer, maybe. Like if you instead of Chedorlaomer, king of Elam and Tiddle, Tidal, Tidal, king of Goim, Goim. Goem, oh yes, go yem. Oh hey, cheddar la omer, cheddar la omer with a k and a k. Any other other spellings? M Rafael. Let's see. M Rafael. M Rafael. M Rafael. M. They're all spelled the same. All the M Rafael. Okay. All right. Made war on Bera king of Sodom, Bersha king of Gomorrah. Shinnab king of Adma, Shemeber king of Zeboam, and king of Bela, that is Zor. 
They all, all the latter kings joined forces in the Valley of Siddam, that is the Salt Sea. Now, how come I'm able to read those so quickly? Not, not necessarily, I, I have read this story dozens of times, <laughs> but also you just start getting used to seeing strange names in the Bible. Here, way down here. Okay. When Abram returned from his defeat of Chedorlaomer, so Abram, he went, the, the kings fought against each other. Lot was taken captive. Abram took, took some men and went and rescued Lot. So when he returned from his defeat of Chedor, so did he defeat Chedorlaomer? Not really, but he did defeat them as far as he captured Lot back. So he took Lot back. When he returned from his defeat of Keterleomer and the kings were allied with him, the king of Sodom went out to greet him in the valley of Sheva. That is the king's valley. So the king of Sodom's coming out. Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He, Melchizedek, was a priest of the Most High God. God Most High. Melchizedek, I've heard people say Melchizedek. I've heard people say Melchizedek. Melchi, Melchi Zedek. How would you say that? Melchizedek also shows up in Psalms. In Psalm 110 is Melchizedek. The Lord says, My Lord, sit on my hand while I make your a footstool. The scepter of your might, the Lord of the head, have your dominion, uh, waver, right here. The Lord has sworn and will not waver. You are a priest forever in the manner of Melchizedek, 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 uh, <laughs> Melchizedek, Melch most people say Melchizedek. He also shows up prominently um, in the book of Hebrews. He shows up a bunch of times in the book of Hebrews. And then some of the middle to light, late chapters. We're not going to go there. One more Nate crazy name. No, no, two more, two more. Hosea. No, 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 no. Let's go to Romans chapter 16. Now, this is a little different. You got crazy names of people and places, but look at this. I come into you. Fo ebe Phoebe. Phoebe. Wait, Phoebe. That's quite a normal name. Yep. A minister to church of Centria. Centria. Kentria. Kentria. I've heard so many pronounced of that. It's like what well, I say Centria. Might be Centria. Who knows what it is? Greek Prisca and Aquila. Okay. A Aquila. Aquila, Prisca, Prisca, okay, co workers in Christ Jesus, who risks their necks, the Gentiles, Epianetus, Mary, Leah, Mary, Epianet, that's a hard, Leah, Ep, there's only an E, but over here there's an A and an E. Don't let the A and the E throw you off if you're reading from the E in LT, like E P E. But down here, Mary, 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 they're all just Mary. Andronicus and Junia. Andronicus, Andronicus, and Junia. Oops, put that. And Pliatus, my beloved in law, Greek Urbanus. And my beloved Statues, Statues, Appel, all these weird, man. But then sometimes you come upon names like, what is it? Matthew chapter. Ten, maybe i might need to go to nine let's see <gasps> here it is okay so jesus calls together some jews let's see what kind of weird names okay the names of the 12 apostles are simon called peter simon called peter that's the e simon called that's the easiest name ever simon and peter simon peter his brother andrew andrew james son of zebedee there's a hard name but james and his brother John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus. This is the best name, Thaddeus. 
Yeah. Or if you're like Zeus, Z E U S, Zeus, <laughs> Simon the Canaanian, like Canaanite, but not not a Canaanite, Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him. Judas, Simon, Thaddeus. It's a little strange. Uh, James. I mean, some of these Matthew so easy names, you know. So I mean, sometimes you get a break. But here we go. Last one. You want something difficult. Isaiah chapter 7. Might be chapter 8. All right. Let me look real quick. Control F. Okay. I think it's the next chapter. Let's see. Lord said to me, take a large tablet and inscribe on it an ordinary with an ordinary stylus. Just a, just a pen. Make a large signboard and clearly write this name. Okay. Belonging to Mahir Shalal Hashbaz. Call reliable witnesses for me. Uriah the priest and Zechariah, son of Jeberkiah. And here you got a K. Got a K, but here you got a CH. Okay, son of Bar son of Jeberekiah. Then I went to the prophetess, and she conceived this and bore a son. The Lord said to me, name him Maharishalal Hashbaz. Maharishalal Hashbaz. That's possibly the funnest name. Now, if you really want to practice this name stuff, Genesis 10, Genesis 5, 1 Chronicles 1 through 9. And Matthew chapter 1, Luke chapter 3. There's another chapter somewhere in Genesis of genealogy. Oh, Nehemiah, lots of names. Lots of, in Ezra. Nehemiah, lots of just random names. Okay, guys. Has this been helpful? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Remember, when you're reading the, the scripture, like in front of a church, in front of a group of people, and call reliable witnesses for me. Uriah the priest and Zechariah son of Jibberichia I mean most people will be understanding most Christians but you could just be Uriah the priest and Zechariah son of Jibberichia mm. yep I knew how to say that right <laughs> all right guys see you in the next very basic bible